What's up everybody? Well, I got another gameplay video for you guys today and today we're gonna do some Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. Now I've been enjoying the hell out of this game so far and we still got this TV PC to do and we still got the handhelds and that little mini PC to do. So not gonna waste any more time here and we're just gonna hop right into it. All right, so just gonna do a mirror copy of what we did on the main PC. We're gonna start off 4k native and then we'll move on to camera. We're gonna do the same thing, ultra preset. We're just gonna turn DLSS on to quality. Now, let's get into the game and see how this computer handles it. All right, here we go. Don't know why it says recording has started. That never happens when I'm full screen, but I definitely had full screen on borderless. I don't know why it's doing that, but okay. We have seen us. One down. Alright, now let's see if we can't do this. Hopefully they can keep him off my back just for a second. Done. Go for the next one. At least we got sound this time. A couple of games that were just not giving me sound no matter what I did. So I had to just suck it up and not have sound. And that was just for the recording. There was sound the whole time. It was just Shadowplay wasn't recording it for whatever reason. It was very strange. And then after I'm done making all these videos, I hopefully will have enough time to finish Lost Judgment. I'm on the final chapter. It just basically started. I got like 20 minutes into it. So I don't know how long it is. Usually their final chapters are the longest. So hopefully I'll have time to beat it because I want to get started on this one next. I still have plenty of other games to play too. And I think Final Fantasy 16 comes out this month too, towards the middle. So I want to beat all the games I want to beat before that comes out too. And I still want to get a couple more, play a little bit more of Wukong and see if I can't like find more secret stuff to do. So much to do, so many games, so little time. Ah shit. Gotta go and kill all these things from attacking the damn antennas, huh? Now I'm not gonna lie, those look more like transformers than antennas, but whatever they say. Blueberry strudel. Changing magazine. Oh, 
This game is gonna be using pretty damn smooth too. I don't know how much in FPS it is behind the uh, 1300k rig, but still more playable FPS to me, so I don't really care. All I care about is how playable it is. Does it stutter like crazy? No. Does it get more than playable FPS? Yes, then hell yeah, we're golden. I mean, it was still doing fine native too. Once we uh, show you what it does with DLSS during the camera, we're in the uh, camera core portion, it just gets even more FPS. Not by much, but a little bit. It seems to do more than uh, FSR did anyway, but I guess this is a good chance to move on. All right, now for the camera core gameplay. All I did was turn DLSS well. on to quality. Resilient. Everything else exactly the same as it was. We got separated. By the time we had slain the attackers, Elian was dead. Something but a hole clean through his helmet. I should have been with you. I only wish he had lived to see that hive ship burn. I fought beside Elian for two decades. He could not have been defeated by Hormagons. There are creatures more deadly than Hormagons down there. And you should not have let our squad be divided. He is gone, Sergeant. Duty is all. I do not forget my brothers. of Lord Kalga. Did you fight with him on Vigilis? I've read through those battle reports more than a hundred times. A masterful defense. My duty kept me busy elsewhere. You have an unusual service record. That is my good fortune. I want to scout recon of that position. Captain, get over here. Captain! I have the Mechanicus on Vox. They can wait. This is Nozick Beta 12, the Mechanicus Archmagos. He should have been aboard this ship an hour ago, but he refuses to leave Kodaku without some data from his lab. Huh. He's currently in this Imperial Guard base. His facility is here. The enemy is closing in. That base will be overrun imminently. Nozick is a high value asset. Get that data and get them out. All right, can do. The mining facility. If we rupture the staging tanks, direct the flow into the valley. We can ignite the fields around the base. Boil them in Prometheum. Mm, Prometheum? I'll give you command of a small team to hit the staging tanks. Three men. That's all I can spare. Brief them immediately. Yes, Captain. Mechanicus data. We are a starties. Titus Delirium, make ready to depart. Standing by. Well, well. Lieutenant Titus. We are told you have need of us, brother. My squad must recover data from a Mechanicus research facility in Sector 41A. A large enemy swarm threatens to overrun both that facility and an Imperial Guard base to its east. You will sabotage a Prometheum refinery to delay their advance. We will not fail you, Lieutenant. Let us burn the Xenos filth. Time is short. I will brief you on descent. Brother, Magos Gallio wishes to see you in the armory. 
Oh. Noted. Armory, huh? If you have not been issued a pyre blaster for this task, then get one from the armory immediately. We must find the old hazards to the developers of our shop. The blasters are fixed, sir. Take me quite some time, Titus. You requested my presence. How are you acclimating to your new status? I have no complaints. Intriguing. Predictions would determine a point nine probability that you would. I have pressing duties, Nagos. Very well. Engage the armory terminal. I will see that you are suitably equipped for your mission. Indicate your desired war gear. And the armoring station will handle the outfitting procedure. Though much has changed since we last met. All this will remain familiar to you. Right. The Omnisire blessed us with clear sightedness from the beginning. We offer blessings to this machine, that it may serve you just as it serves him. Alright. The war gear selection seems incomplete. This armory is comprehensive, but available options are those recommended for the current mission. Very well. My thanks, Magos. Galio will suffice. We know each other well enough for that. Oh, so they brought me this stuff they uh, have to use no matter what, I'm assuming. But anyway. We'll figure that out in the next video. So, let's go wrap this video on up. Well, all right, guys, that's a wrap for Space Marine 2. And it did a great job on here, too. Pretty much the exact same amount of small little stutters the main PC had, but nothing I'd probably even notice without a frame rate counter and a graph that shows them to me. So, definitely a pretty damn awesome game. I'm excited to play. But I still have to do the handhelds and the little Firebat mini PC, so can't just sit down and play quite yet. But soon, soon. But in any case, it's time for me to go get started on those. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, though, because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video... Peace out, guys.